here's the thing when you live in oklahoma and you have a trampoline you have to get these little cork anchors and screw them into mother nature so you can then get a strap and strap your trampoline to the ground because if you don't here's what happens this is my neighbor's house see that trampoline right there well when it was up and there was a storm it literally came flying over the fence and it hit my gutter i don't know if you can tell but there's a dent right there and the gutters pushed in we came outside the back door one time and that trampoline over there was against my house hashtag oklahoma problems all right almost done with the back got this little spot Just got through mowing and weed eating, heating up the grill, about to cook me a burger. Samantha has some stuff that she wants to make herself for dinner that I'm not a big fan of, so we're kind of taking care of ourselves this evening, but today is Monday, June 10th, 2019, and a couple things. Number one, it is game five of the 2018 season, 2018-2019, 2019, NBA Finals tonight in Toronto. The Toronto Raptors have a 3-1 lead on the Golden State Warriors who everybody in the state of Oklahoma completely cannot stand. They loathe them. We're still mad, KD. We always will be, bro. So we're hoping that Toronto can win because, yeah, Golden State. Mm. So I'm gonna be watching that. And then number two, later on tonight, Supposedly the biggest planet in our solar system, that's Jupiter kids, is going to be like, I guess like, I don't know necessarily if it's going to be closer, but it's going to be extremely visible. And also, I don't know off the top of my head how many moons Jupiter has, but they're supposed to be visible from binoculars. So I can one up binoculars. Check this out. Pardon the messy garage, but check this thing out. That right there is a big telescope. I think that was the very first birthday present that Samantha ever got me many years ago when we first started dating. I'm kind of a space nerd. Like I'm fascinated like by outer space, the solar system, the planets, all the interstellar stuff. Just um, always, you know, I follow NASA on other social media and just kind of nerd and geek out on all that stuff. Anytime I see stuff like on the Discovery Channel or any of that that has anything to do with like space exploration and stuff like that, my ears perk up and I'm sure to tune into that stuff. So I'm definitely going to be taking the telescope out and seeing if I can see Jupiter and any of those moons. And I'll be sure to share that with you guys, although it's going to be challenging because it's going to be dark out. So we'll see. So... I better get this uh, hamburger patty on the grill. Never get too old for burgers and chips, man. Well, I just got through eating that burger, man. That thing was delish, but it's about 7.15, so still have about 45 minutes before this Raptors-Warriors game tips off. Sun's still pretty high in the sky right now, so we gotta wait for it to go down so we can check out Jupiter. But for now, I'm about to, um... The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. I'm about to fly this drone for a little bit.
We don't care about no Kevin Durant, do we, Bodie? Samantha has been being super mom all day long, taking care of this little guy. Well, I got some work done, some yard work done, some other stuff like that. And uh, now it's my turn to hang out with this little guy for a little bit. We're going to watch this game. Let uh, little mama, you know, unwind and do the things that she needs to get done. So. So I went ahead and got the old Orion SkyQuest out. It's the first time I've used this in a while. I'm ashamed to say this thing is awesome. Right now I'm trying to get it all dialed in. Okay, so this tower with the blinking light, it is way over there. It's a big tower. I'm talking about that one right there that my finger's covering up. Check this out, hopefully you can see it. But I have the telescope sighted in on it. I don't know if this will work or not. I doubt it will. Maybe. Oh, yeah. There we go. You guys see that? Check out the birds on it. Come on, focus. In, if you look inside of it, it's crystal clear. I don't know how good of a job I can actually get it to focus and look. I know that doesn't look very crystal clear, but... Um, this is the only way I'm going to really have to show you guys uh, how good it... Let me try zooming out on the... Oh, come on. Anyways, this is the only way I'm going to have to show you guys um, how the telescope sees it tonight. So, pretty cool stuff. Right now, it's obviously just a uh, waiting game as we're waiting for it to get dark out. Ooh, let's check out the moon real quick with the telescope. Let's see how good you guys can see that with this camera pointing down into that. <laughs> Well, back inside, watch some more NBA basketball and uh, waiting for it to get dark. Halftime, Golden State 62. Ugh, come on, Raptors, let's go, Kawhi. Come on. All right, well, as you can see now, it is getting dark. That is west, north. East, and I believe that that shiny thing you can see right there, I believe that is Jupiter. But I am going to confirm it real quick with this nifty little app that I have. Let me show you guys. So, this app is called Skyview Light, as you can see right here where I'm moving my thumb. It's the free version, you can get Skyview and you know pay for it, but this works just fine. But check this out so, like, as you move you know around it shows you what where all the constellations are and what stars and everything are where so like as you can see there is our moon and when I put my phone up come on focus you can see that it shows the moon right there so we're going over here where I told you guys where I thought it was Jupiter and as a matter of fact it is Jupiter and even right now, it shows you the path it's going to take. See the dots? It shows you across the sky where Jupiter is going to be, you know, its line. So, I'm about to pull the telescope out and check out Jupiter there and see what it looks like. And being that it's so extremely far away, I'm sure it's just going to look like, you know, another star, just a bright ball. But I'm going to have to show you guys Saturn sometime, or at least try to through this thing. If you haven't ever looked, it's really unbelievable. You can actually see the little rings, but right now we're going to move this out in the yard and we're going to uh, see what Jupiter looks like. Oh my gosh, it's killer. I can see it and I can see four of its moons. Wow, it's so killer. I can see it and again, it, it does. It's just really bright ball but I can see four of its moons that are teeny tiny. Doubt you guys will be able to see in this, but I will try. You see it there? That's Jupiter, the thing in the middle. It's really bright, and then you can see two moons on each side of it. How killer. 
All right, well, that's what I have for you guys this evening. I know it really wasn't much of a vlog, just a real short, simple, whatever you want to call it. But uh, hey, man, that's what I did this evening. And um, now I'm just going to, you know, get cleaned up, probably go lay in bed and watch the end of this game, hopefully be happy. And then, um, yeah, that's about it. So until next time, guys, vlog number 210.